Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex. This is Hearts of Iron 4 playing the Old World Blues mod as New Canaan. Man, a Tunneler Invasion would be a really cool late game event to put in this mod. <laughs> Have like them start out down here in the Long 15. Or wherever the hell they're supposed to be. Yeah, that would be dope. Kind of like the Alien Invasion from Hearts of Iron 2? Yeah. I would be into that. So we're going to wrap this up and then we will start down the trees that actually send us to war. Northern opportunities will be quite good. Defender of the Tribes will eventually give us sweet, sweet Joshua Graham, who gives us 10% offensive bonus to our armies, which will be amazing. That'll give me more time to research better and better robots and hold off longer and longer. <laughs> kamikaze attacks yeah that would be a really good modifier for this we do have a lot of modifiers all right we have elections what oh weird well okay in january we'll see what the fuck our elections look like is it just that jeremiah is gonna die Scrap Shacks, not really that good. That's slightly ahead of time. Probably the best thing I can go for. Our computing machines. Am I still researching? Yeah, the flesh is weak. Dope. Nothing else I want to get to help this out now. Alright, yeah, that's done. Knights of God I'm not interested in. Defender of the Tribes. We are the Good Shepherd. It's our responsibility as children of God to defend the less developed tribes of Utah and America to help them find God. Flesh is weak. Go ahead, go with refined construction weapons like anti-material rifles and explosives make our units vulnerable. By incorporating sturdier materials into our construction methods, we can mitigate the effects of these deadly weapons. All right, done with that. Now we can go down the Southern Tribes, Dead Horse Point. Going down the Sorrows will eventually give us a choice between Joshua Graham and Daniel. And this will eventually lead us to declaring war on Caesar's Legion, which I think we should take our time getting to. Let's do Northern Opportunities. To the north, our traders and <laughs> mercenaries. missionaries have established contact with three dominant tribes of the area. The Iris, the Lone Tree, and the tribe of Murtaugh. So that's Murtaugh, Iris, and Lone Tree. I'm going to go ahead and stop exercising this army. We go into war. Modify government. Can I please? Nope, still can't do it. So we can either bring the sword and the cross or Northern Missionaries. Northern Missionaries will make Lone Tree, Iris, and Murtaugh our puppets. We'll also get production bonus to motorized divisions and reliable infantry equipment. None of those are really that great, but it does save us a couple of wars and gets us some puppets whose men we can throw at our enemy. Otherwise, we can annex them and get cores on their former territory. This is very tempting to me, as core territory seems to be the best. I'm feeling going for the sword and the cross here. Yeah, yeah. We must put these primitive tribes to the sword and the cross to defend them from themselves. It's our duty to God to convert these heathens. The first should probably be Lone Trees because they're the easiest target, but we'll, we'll see. We can either bring the Catholics to heal, uh, yeah, sure, bring the Catholics to heal. The Iris worship a false god. Though close to ours, there are remnants of an ancient splinter faith called Catholicism. It's our duty to show them the true faith. But the Iris have... 11 to 14 divisions, about what we have. Hey. But we will make do. G 
Steve Varmy. Maybe I should go with, yeah, let's get Wilson just for now. Long term, Wilson won't be our man, but for now, he'll be good enough. And I'll hold off because I want to get War Economy as soon as we get going. These ready to deploy? Just about. I'm, I'm a little worried. I don't know how these tiny robot armies will hold up. Sir. They're pretty okay, but they're not amazing. Watch us just crumble and get wiped immediately. Jesus, robots, don't let me down. <laughs> Building an entire armor army was risky choice, to say the least. Let's we'll see how this plays out. Our manpower should be on par with theirs, if not better. No, definitely better. They only have 600 manpower at the most. So we have 10 times the amount of disposable people. Hopefully we won't need to use 10 times the amount of disposable people to have our way here. All right, so we're all wrapped up with this. No more power stations to build, no more any of these interesting things. Let's go for infrastructure. Better infrastructure won't be evident in its usefulness for quite some time, but it will be eventually. You can start making Mr. Handies. Hell yeah. And I'll switch this over to Mr. Handies as well. But before we start down the Mr. Handy production line, I have enough... Yeah, I have enough to make better Mr. Handies. They're a little slower, only 4.8 kilometers an hour, but Mr. Handy Mark 1s are a significant improvement. Ah, see, now we're running into a lack of electronics, which is a problem we're going to run into considerably more in the future. I'll keep this one on security protectrons just so this will be producing at least. Where can I get more of those? Uh, show me resource map. We're making some of New Canaan, but not very much. We'll get a few more from acquiring the Ivories. Yeah, and that'll hold itself for now. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That should do do us okay. Go for engine adjustments. So medium robots, like Mr. Handy's. All right, our divisions are only using white robots. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a whole new division. Hold off on that. Basically, we're using white armor right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's start researching engine adjustments anyway. Engines adjustments, tech description. <laughs> Inspiration. Never mind. Pulling back from making the Mr. Handies just yet, just so these will stay fully organized. Once we're done with this war, I'll see what I can do. So these are Annex War Goals. This will lose manpower. Hmm. I don't love any of these. <laughs> Where are these focuses I can get? Naval production, air production, construction, engineering. Not bad. Army training. Let's go for army training, just so we can put out more white robots faster. Go ahead and declare this annexation war. See what we can do. Yeah, we, we could import electronics, but it's no one has a lot of it, so we could import some. I like to be self-sufficient, but yeah, after this war, it's something we should strongly consider. Hey there. All right. Let's see how this shit works. Hey. I've never used robots very consistently in this mod, hey so I don't know how well this will pan out. Hey. Just slow this down. Yep. All right. Never mind, just stop. 
Oh, they're not great. All right, never mind. I'm I'm wrong. They're fine. They're just not as dominant as I would like them to be, but we're doing fine. Unless this gets cut off, then I'm wrong. So their their armor divisions, they're not going to be good on defense. What? Hey. No, baby, what is you doing? Cut this off. This is not going great. <laughs> this is not Hello, not going well at all. Sir. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, there's a real temptation to save scum here and wait until we have larger armies. Wow, no, we are just royally getting destroyed here. What the fuck? Tell, tell me, win, win ratio, 33%. Yeah. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> yeah, these are fucking terrible. Hmm. Yeah, this is abysmal. I have no shame. Now that is awful. I knew robots were not very good in this mod, but that was way worse than I thought they would be. Oh, good, and this is after I started the war. Fuck. And we didn't have an older auto save. <laughs> ah, okay, let's slow this way down. Way down. You are going here. You, here, you, moving up here. Nope. Let him have that. I'm just gonna have to take the wheel here, I guess. Ah. Mixed arms would have been a much better idea, yeah. But, well, game gave us option for Jesus robots and it was such a tantalizing idea. Didn't realize just how... Okay, that's very cute, but that won't make a difference here. I saw decisions available, like, oh, something useful. No, no. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the U.S. would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling with bickering nation states, bent on controlling the last remaining resources. For the love of God, you are insanely slow. Oh my God. Because they're moving through mud, and these are armor units, that's why you're moving so insanely slow. So the advantage of using armor is that it moves quickly, and it's hard. But this is mud? Excuse you? Desert. In the mud. Oh. Love that. That is horrible. Yeah, yeah, I can barely hear it. It's just the fallout intro. This is gonna not end well. What's up? I think. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should have just gone with generic mixed army like I normally do, but hmm.
What's up? If I tell you to be aggressive, would that make a difference? Probably not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. I don't see this being winnable. I could have built these better. Try for a white piece. Yeah, that is not going to happen. White piece is never a thing in these games. In uh, Hearts of Iron anymore. Once upon a time it was. Really, if we just eat away their manpower, we've lost twice the amount of manpower they have, which is abysmal. Uh, well, maybe not. I guess New Canaan just isn't fit for fighting? That or most of our bonuses is population, population, division attack, but that just makes up for this. Division training time, soft attack. This is infantry equipment, so that doesn't affect us. Division defense plus 5%. So we're still sitting at a net of negative 5% defense zero bonus to attack so going robots was a bad idea the the reason why straight armor armies in this game don't work well is their hp is so low even though they have really good the breakthrough their armor tends to not be good and their hp and organizations isn't very good so they break very easily particularly in the mud they do not do well I'll go ahead and deploy a couple more. I'll let this play itself out. But. I haven't found robots to be good at all in this mod. Even playing as New Vegas, the uh, robots are horrible. <laughs> what? Oh, the NTR is having a civil war. How about that? It's very rare that you see them have a civil war. And yeah, the Enclave can pop up here. I mean, New Canaan's fucked, right? Let me just... Just... Doing a thing. No, nope, no, nope, none of these commands are what I want. Come on. Observe. No, nope. focus autocomplete. No, 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 no. All right. P debug. Toggle debug? All right, what is it? New Canaan's fucked, but that doesn't mean I have to stop playing. That means I need to jump ship. <laughs> Show me the tags. Show me the tags. So what I'm trying to do is pull up the debug overlay that lets me see what different nations tags are. Nope, not in it. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only for console commands. Debug. It is TDBug. But I was spelling it wrong. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, when I hover over you, tells me that you are ENC. So if I just... So we've been playing the Enclave this entire time, and, uh... Enclave? <laughs> New Canaan? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Definitely I've been playing the Enclave 100% throughout this entire campaign. Yep. Yep. Absolutely think? backed. Grab all of this and okay. What is happening with our armies here? <laughs> what do you need? Oh wait, 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 sir. Mercenary company. Why can't you be assigned to this? 
You cannot assign the unit to the... I am very confused by what's happening or not happening here. Because I can't create an army with them. What the fuck is happening with your troops, Enclave? Mormons aren't real. True facts. True facts. Huh. What the fuck? Hey. What's going on? I'm incredibly confused. I thought this would be so smooth switching over to them. Yeah, these event troops I just can't assign. What in the hell? So Am I supposed to... You know what? I got time. I have time and very little investment if this succeeds or fails. Do do, do. Twitch stream, you should reload the page. Twitch stream does not say that anymore. You just haven't seen the change because you haven't reloaded. <laughs> Yeah, that was my bad. I The robots sounded so much more fun, but they suck pretty badly in this mod. They'd be better with mixed forces, so if I had motorized mixed in there, they just haven't been modeled to portray robots very well. They still are operating like they are armor from Hearts of Iron 4 and operate just like an armor should what can I do for you? which but a platoon of Mr. Gutsies should not act like a platoon of circa 1945 tanks. Just, you know, hot take there. After this, I have some weapons to repair. I have no idea why the fuck all these mercenary companies cannot be assigned After this, to a front. That's okay. Hey Just gonna manually assign them to their deaths. I'm basically at this point padding out the second hour here. What can I do for if you? what's going on? If we wrap up this hour and things go terribly, I'll just stream another bullshit hour of Stellaris, Fallout, or something, and wrap up the evening with something, something else. What can I do for you? I do not what's mind. We're not at war with you, right? We are at war with you. Ah, Hawkward. Mildly awkward. We've been from north here. You? you go down here. What's going on? You go down here. <laughs> Truly, this is how the greats organize their armies. Do we have any leadership? No, of course we don't. William Wallace. <laughs> He's a media personality. Yeah. All right. I buy that. But our forefathers gave us, our forefathers left us firepower, and not much of it. Still can't assign these. Weird. Defense of the homeland. Uh, army experience gain. Let's do that. Hmm. I didn't realize that... Well, I suppose I didn't realize a lot of things, but particularly that the mercenaries that the Enclave get, for whatever reason, cannot be assigned hey there. to a theater. You see, when I'm selecting these troops, that they just don't go to anything. If I disband them, I don't know if they're expeditionary, but they're not acting like they're expeditionary troops. Weird. Hey there. Real weird. Hey, right, whatever, I got this. Brotherhood of Steel? No worries. I have seven unassigned mercenary divisions. I think I got this. Godspeed. I uh, none of these are gonna make a difference. Just just start going down some tree. Hey there. All of you have assignments. Dope. What can I 
do for you. Hey. After this, I have some weapons to repair. You're mine! After this, I have some weapons to repair. Ah, uh, I... Whoa. Oh. Alright. Boneyard spa state has capitulated. Damn right! For my expert tactical acumen, they have been laid low. Sir. <laughs> Thus fall all who oppose New Cain Enclave. I've got you now. So the Western Brotherhood are at war with all of us. Enclave, this is just. Everybody's at war with everyone. Wow. I've never seen the Civil War kick off this early. And I've tried to force it to kick off before. Hey there. Greetings, Elder. Alright, NCR has re-annexed them. I'd love to wipe the NCR off the map. Not because I have anything against them, really. Just be a nice feather in my cap. That I don't at all deserve. So the uh, the game of Fallout, the original Fallout, seems to take place between Benton, Ranger Citadel. I mean, Shady Sands is right here, but I'm not seeing Vault 13. Vault 13 isn't way the fuck up here. No. Shady Sands, it should be... I'm very confused. Because even Vault 15 should be on this map, right? 13 should be, like, right over here, or right here, and then 15 should be right over here. There's Shady Sands, the hub is right here, Boneyard's down here, Lost Hills Bunker, then Mariposa... Is it Mariposa? Oh, it's something up here. Can't for the life of me remember what exactly it is. Not Navarro. It is It is Mariposa. Show me the Mariposa game. Not Sac City. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I've, I've completely botched this. Good God. See, the AI is able to assign the mercenaries odds that I wasn't able to. It may have just been a UI problem. I love that I observe and then the Enclave immediately splits into half. Not with, like I was doing a bad job of organizing them or anything like that. New Canaan still hasn't died. For the last hour, I think I'll switch into Fallout just because that's a pretty smooth transition and we're pretty close to wrapping up some pretty important stuff on there anyway. Yeah, well, last hour and a half. All right, all right. If I put in a cut here and I know it's gonna be a short episode for YouTube, I'll still have two hours to stream something else. So we're gonna do that. This has been a train wreck. I'll probably come back and try to play New Canaan another time and do a less terrible job at it. But, but hey, YouTube, until tomorrow, Take it easy. Make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. There will be something up tomorrow. Maybe not more Hearts of Iron 4. Later in the week, probably. But there will be something. Bye.